Welcome to the fourth video in my Princess Catherine photo scandal series. In my previous videos, I talked about why we shouldn't call photos photoshops, the big deal with Princess Catherine's photos, and how to tell if a photo is altered. And in this video, I will continue with the same news story. The royal family and their photographer were pressured to provide the original photo of Princess Catherine and her children, but they chose not to. And that got me thinking about the client-photographer relationship. No matter the royal's reasons, I believe clients should never ask for the raw files. And this video explains why. First, what's a raw file, right? If I had to explain it to my three-year-old nephew, I would say it's like a coloring book that comes with all the outlines and details but haven't been colored in yet. So you get to choose the brightness, colors, shadows to make it your own. And if I were explaining it to a client, I would use the same analogy. Sharing raw files is like handing over a half-done coloring book. It's still not clear? Let me show you. This is how a raw file looks straight out of a camera. It lacks all the creative adjustments that make a photo stand out after it's processed. So when you ask for raw files, you bypass the photographer's vision and control over the final image, which defeats the purpose of hiring them in the first place. So you have to remember that you hired the photographer for their expertise and creative touch. So let them finish the process and give you the polished final results. Most photographers retain copyright of their work. Providing raw files opens up the potential for unauthorized use and modification. That's why it's important for the photographer to maintain control over how their work is used and distributed. Some clients might believe that they can save some money by asking for raw files, leaving out the rest of the production. We, as the photographers, have to explain that it isn't an add-on like a photo album or prints. Editing is a crucial part of the service they're paying for, as it's where photographers' creative vision is truly realized. I'm curious to hear any questions that you have encountered from clients that went against your workflow. Have there been any moments where you felt a client's request conflicted with your creative process? Let me know in the comments. I'm closing this series with this last video, so thank you for watching. I'm launching a new series on Google Pixel phone reviews, focusing on how to take great photos with the phone. I hope to see you there.